Question number two makes me very happy because what's nice is that someone is giving us an update. This is an update from Julian who says this. Two years ago, two years ago, on Podcast 36, I asked you a question regarding one of the physical tests to become a professional firefighter. Thank you for, very much for your fitness advice, as you were very useful during my preparation. Hey, I'm honored. Thank you. Two years later, after passing the written exams, fitness tests, and interviews, I'm getting hired and will start a new career at the lo local fire department very soon. And that makes me very happy, and congratulations. The next stage for me is Fire Academy. It will be three months of little sleep, little food, and lots of fire and rescue training, and a good amount of inefficient exercises to make us more tired. As I will be allowed to go home on the weekends, I would like to know what I could do to optimize recovery in order to take advantage of those two days off besides sleeping a lot and eating quality foods. Wow, Julian, so this is episode, this is a 100 episodes you asked a question and your dreams came true. So it's kind of fun to hear that. 100 weeks ago, uh, Julian asked a question and his and he got what he wanted. He's a firefighter now, but which is great. And he followed my advice and he did what he said he's supposed to do, which is the rarest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Uh, if I could just say one thing, when people ask my advice and take my advice and do it and succeed, it helps me realize that some of my advice is good. If people don't take my advice, and do something else and then email me 100 you know weeks later and say it didn't work well of course it didn't work and and why are you asking me uh john powell the, the late john powell once said if you're gonna if you're gonna listen to every every single whiff of the wind my voice won't be one of them and i thought well that's a good point you know if you have a thou you know if you have a thousand coaches it's going to be real hard for you to figure out what worked and what didn't work. Oh, this is good news. So, okay, first off, um, and this is an important question. Uh, losing the cyclical nature of a normal life is going to be hard on you and hard on all of you. So you're going to have to be extremely proactive as you go into this. Um, when I do my meditation, I always have an eye mask on and I always put earplugs on and I always turn my phone off so people can't text or call me while I'm doing my meditation. Putting the mask on and putting the earphones on are as important for me as the actual meditation because it's those steps before, if you follow my point. And then when I meditate, I don't get a text, you know, that says funny, ha ha or whatever it was in those, you know, group texts. Oh, I hate that. Um, as best you can, what can we be proactive about for the five days you're not at home? Um, can you get a sleep mask? Can you have, uh, can you get, you know, earphones, you know, that block the noise out? Um, can you, can you add extra fluids into your day, uh, however you do it? Uh, can you add uh, any of those restorative, they're, they're kind of these fun little things that are out now, these little packets with restorative salts in them. Um, I like the ones that don't have any of the sugar in them. Um, my daughter uh, got them for me. I'm not, I don't even know what the name brand is. I'd share it with you, but it's just basically um, a little bit of sweetener, a little bit, and then just restorative salts. And I got to tell you that it's an eye opener how, how good they work for me. Uh Obviously, you know, you can see where I started. I started with sleep and meditation, and then I moved to fluid because those are the issues that are the easiest to do when you're in a tough couple of weeks. Now, as for the food and the long days and the education, you might just have to, you know, just toughen up on those. I, I, I hate to be so vague. Now, let's get to the question. You only have two days off per week to recover at home, and you said something interesting. Yeah, you eat good, sleep good, and that's great. One of the things I would do is not only plan to sleep more, uh, I would look into the quality of sleep. Now, I like I like the app called Brain.fm, but there's a whole bunch of other ones where you can put your, you, I would just suggest you put your sleep mask on, you put your ear, whatever, noise blockers, and find uh, a deep sleep meditation. 
and maybe even a guided deep sleep meditation. Uh, one of mine says about within a minute. And if you fall asleep during the meditation, that's just fine. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've woken up all over the world with, <laughs> depending on how the equipment I use, but you know, where I got one earbud that's underneath the pillow and you know, then the other one's wrapped around the other, the, st the strings wrapped around my neck. Yeah. But hey, I got through, through the night's sleep. Sleep. I wouldn't mind you meditating uh, once or twice uh, on the Saturday and Sunday you have off. And the reason is meditation is going to give you some, uh, I think it does help your brain. I mean, you know, my doctor recommends me to meditate because my concussion issues. And it really seems to help me a lot. What I'd like you to also think about is restorative walks on both days. Now, you would think after that long week, why would you want to do more work? Um, I first figured this out. It's funny, my niece Danielle just had a birthday, and I, when the day she was born, I was doing double sessions in American football. And I would come home at, when I was a sophomore and lay down on the couch and watch TV. Later, I realized that that didn't restore me much. That seems crazy, but what I would do is that we, I would just walk around and uh, get to practice, the second practice earlier and just play catch. Uh, just and just kind of, you know, do some gentle moving. Uh, it might be an idea one day go to a swimming pool and just play in the pool or swim or just hang out in the pool, which is very restorative for some people, especially a colder pool. But you you can do what you do. And the other day for a, a literally a long walk. Now I would, um, you know, I'm thinking at the top of my head an hour. But the nice thing about hiking and hiking, no rucking, no heavy stuff. Just go for a walk, go for a hike. Uh, is that that movement helps with restoration. So we look at, I want you to look at sleep and meditation. I want you to look at a restorative walk, a restorative swim. Uh, I, I honestly, uh, and if you have a chance to sit in a, a colder bath for longer might be an idea if you can't get to a pool. Don't make it an ice bath. Don't, don't make your system have to charge up again and get going. Just make it a normal, a cooler bath and, and hang out. I have a sauna and I, I often will go sauna, ice shower, sauna, ice shower. When I'm really struggling, it's not bad. Um, food wise, on the weekends, I would look for foods that have a high water content. Now it's like, well, well that sounds like voodoo. Um, if you ever decide to make sauerkraut, one of the things you'll notice when you're working with cabbage, cabbage is loaded with, with water. Uh, so in other words, uh, fruits and vegetables, a little bit extra at every meal. Um, it depends on the time of year. About two weeks back, my friend Merrill, uh, his peach crop came in and I'd been struggling. Uh, I just finished a really strict diet. I was in a really heavy training period. And as I was driving home from his house with the, this big thing of peaches, I started eating peaches. And I noticed I kept eating them. And I probably, I mean, if it was a 15 minute drive, I wouldn't be surprised. I must have ate six, seven or eight peaches in the drive home. And when I got home, I realized that one of the problems I was having was dehydration. That, as I, and of course, they are also wonderful peaches. So if you can get a little bit more hydrated, now everyone's gonna tell you, drink more water, drink more water. And that's true, but also, don't forget you how much water you get from fruits and vegetables. There is a bit of controversy right now about salts and things like that. Uh, there is uh, salt does seem to help your body uh, utilize fructose more. The downside is it also uh, <laughs> teaches your body, I guess, to um, kind of hold on to fat more too. Um, so a lot of people back when I was young would really tell you to up your salt intake. Nowadays, I would argue, certainly drink drink a lot of fluids. Uh, try to stay away from the funner ones uh, as much as you can. But fruits and vegetables as best you can. Uh, and you know what I, and what I'm looking for is are juicy, juicier things. Now, it's weird because cabbage is full of water. And, I mean, it would seem like cabbage has less water than a peach, but really when you make sauerkraut, you realize there's a ton of water in both. That'd be interesting, uh, peach uh, sauerkraut. Um, those are the kinds of things I'm recommending. Yes, sleep, but also meditate. 
yes, you should go ahead, get out and take a walk, maybe a swim, maybe a colder bath, great. Um, get your moisture from fruits and vegetables and do your best to just keep coming back. One of the issues I would say about the way this is, that 5-2, five, 5-2, two, five, two, is not a very, uh, for a work to recovery ratio, it's not very good. Uh, it doesn't seem very the, to flow cyclically, in my mind, very good. But I think we can really combat that with really increasing your, your fruit and vegetables as appropriate to where you live. And uh, meditation, some easy walks. And making sure somewhere on the weekend you go, maybe reread, breathe out. Reread some notes of yours, you know, flip through a manual. Don't lose your mind, but touch the learning materials that you went over the week before. Touch them. I mean, just look over, close your mind, breathe out, maybe come back in a couple of bouts every day and ref in a refreshed state, look at some of last week's materials so you can build up those layers in your mind so you won't forget it in the upcoming week. It's a great question and good luck to you, okay?